What is up, everyone? This is the next episode of Jacksonville, Florida Living's podcast. It's myself, Justin, and my dad here, uh, Mike, and we are going to be talking about, in this episode, the rate cut. Now, (laughs) yeah, this is a fun topic because it's just, (laughs) it's interesting. But if you haven't heard the news last week, the Federal Reserve decided to cut the Fed rate cut to... decided to cut the federal rate to uh, by 0.5%, so by about a half of a percent. Uh, they just decided to do that last week, and we're kind of going to talk about what that means for Jacksonville real estate in general and dispel some notions as well as you know maybe try to give people a little bit guidance and, and understanding of what that could mean for you if you're looking to buy or sell in Jacksonville in the, in the upcoming month. So, Yeah, so uh, big news, right, on Wednesday, half a point, which is, which is great. Um, now, everyone was anticipating anywhere from a quarter to a half a point. That was the 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 anticipation, and uh, but now it's kind of funny how I'm seeing a lot of people talk about well, why didn't the mortgage rates come down? And a lot of you know experts, and I'm sure they know more than me when it comes to the 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 rates. If you're in the mortgage business and but uh, but yeah, a lot of a lot of them are talking about how the the lower rates we've been experiencing over the last thirty days or so have already been baked in from the last conversation that the Fed had and the implications about the rates about cutting the rates uh, by the end of this year, and so that's why we're not I guess why we're not seeing those uh, interest rates after Wednesday go down. Um, just because the Fed rate cut theirs by a half a percentage. Right. So mortgage rates haven't exactly taken that um, one-to-one cut the, the same way that the Federal Reserve rate has has seen. So we haven't seen the mortgage rates come down that same amount. Um, we haven't seen them come down. So uh, people are probably wondering, like, what, well, why is that? You know? Yeah. Uh, we're waiting for that because that's really going to help drive drive some – real estate market business, uh, especially not only just everywhere, but in, in Florida in general, because as people may or may not know, a lot of people relocate to Florida um, because they're retiring or job offers or military is a big uh, thing here in Jacksonville, especially. So there's always people coming in and people going out of Jacksonville, um, probably more people coming in, obviously. So the way that the real estate market reacts to this rate cut is going to be interesting for a lot of people who are looking to already kind of make their move down here. Or if you live in Jacksonville, you've been waiting to kind of, you know, pull the trigger on, on buying a new house or move somewhere else that you want to live in. We're waiting on that mortgage rate cut to see if that's going to influence a lot of that, that activity. Now, one thing I do want to talk about is that a lot of people, a lot of times I want to talk to a lot of buyers out there. Um, most people, and as you, you already know this, most people make the decision to buy a home or sell a home based off of their life. Like life happens, right. you're retiring and you want to downsize or, you know, your kids left for, out for college, you and your wife want a condo yeah. by the beach and you finally get to live in the area that you wanted to live in. Or, you know, your family's getting bigger and you've got a pay increase with your job and you're looking to get a bigger home in a better neighborhood the, that's the main driver for the reason and the decision making be- behind people looking to buy and sell homes, right? That's just absolutely the case. That's probably like ninety percent, if I had to put a percentage on it, maybe or more. more. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's not an impulse buy, right? Right, right. So <laughs> when we talk about mortgage rates, now mortgage rates do influence a lot of activity within a real, given real estate market on whether people are buying or selling because the higher the interest rate is, the less you know, house you're going to be able to afford on your monthly mortgage uh, payment. So it does, if it does correlate, but it's not necessarily the main driver. So I would say, you know, if mortgage rates do come down quite a bit and you have been looking, you know, you've been, you've been waiting. You're like, man, I just not, I, don't, I haven't found the exact right time when I want to buy a house. It's just not the right time yet. You know, I still haven't got that job offer quite yet. You know, maybe they're going to do it in December and, and, and give me orders to come to Jacksonville's base if we're working on the military. Those things are going to be the ultimate deciding factor if you want to buy. But the mortgage rate decrease, if it does decrease, can be a good incentivization on top of that. You know, it's like a cherry on top. It's not necessarily the Sunday of the ice cream, but it is a cherry on top that people right. can take from. So, yeah, I totally agree. And, you know, I think um, 
when you're talking about, uh, you know, as you mentioned, people are going to move based off their life and stuff like that. And one of the things I can say about the, the rate, the rate cut that the Fed did, and it's the the promise, right? It's the ideal or the outlook or foresight to see that we're going to have lower interest rates over the, you know, coming months into the next year, into 2025. So I think that's the promise that everyone's, if you're a professional in the business, a mortgage professional or realtor, um, or if you have some type of finance background, that's really the the bigger picture. Um, but what I think is more important than that is, I think this rate cut and all the, the hype around it or all the, the buzz around it right now is coming at a great time of the year. We're in our, you know, fourth quarter of the year. It's very seasonal when you're talking about real est- the real estate market. Um, typically, we have more homes on the market uh, or uh, we have, I'm sorry, we have less homes on the market typically. But right now in, in our area, we have more homes year to date versus last year um, on the market. And what that means is with the promise of rates coming down or that's the anticipation and, and, and that's being backed up by the Fed cutting rates. And of course, uh, and listen, I know there's a lot of experts out there who are going to say the mortgage rates are reflected off the 10 year yield. And I, I understand that from the professionals. Right. Um, but obviously the Fed rate influences it somewhat. Otherwise, the rates coming down over the last 30 days wouldn't have taken place based off of the anticipation of that rate cut. So my point is, is that going into 2025, uh, we have a lot of um, promise when it comes to the rates, but now would probably, I would argue now is a great time to buy because, you know, you're going to get in that situation where more, the news is hitting now or coming out now, but it's really not going to hit everyone, especially buyers when they're looking as a, as a whole, probably not until the end of the year. And that might be too late. And I don't mean too late, like you can't buy then, but I mean, you will have a better opportunity to buy now with a lower purchase price, with more purchase power, as far as negotiating that purchase price with the seller as a buyer right now in the fourth quarter of this year, because once the ball does start rolling and you start seeing rates coming down from where they are right now, I think that, you know, it's going to be a scary situation where some buyers who are, who are even in the situation where they want to, or they need to to move, um, they're going to, hate being in that situation where they might have to compete against so many other buyers yeah so essentially what you're saying is that like you said real estate especially i'm sure it's everywhere but in florida at least in jacksonville it's we do there's a seasonality to it right sure around the fall time up until the new year we do see what you could call i guess a slowdown you know less people are buying because schools started and for the most part people are kind of you know gotten into their little groove wherever they've been over yeah. the summertime so they found their place for the most part so the the real estate seasonality here is that it slows down in, in, in the fall time it may pick up so the rate coming down if the rate comes down the mortgage rates what you're saying is that it will drive more demand for people to buy a home because it'll be that much more affordable to buy a home you know You'll be able to afford more house because that that mortgage rate decrease. And what that will do is just drive more demand for people to buy a home. So figuring out if you want to go for it within the next coming months is a good idea because if you can beat that demand, if you can beat that influx of people looking to buy a home, then you don't have to find yourself in a situation where you're competing so much with other people. You're having to pay you know, higher than asking purchase prices if that if that does end up happening. So having the advantage of getting in there sooner than later would be you're beating that demand. You have more negotiating power during this time. Yeah. Um, 
not necessarily having to pay asking price depending on the situation of this particular listing that you're interested in um, and just having a way to negotiate more um, incentives whether it be closing cost assistance or bringing that purchase price down or whatever it may be you'll have that little bit more of power uh, if you're able to get in before all of that demand influx later on. Is that correct? Yeah, at 100%. So yeah, I, that's exactly, and that's probably articulated it a little bit clearer than I that I was doing. But yeah, I mean, you know, listen, I think that when it comes down to it, you're, you're talking about people, like you mentioned in the very beginning, people are going to move usually because they need to move, right? Life, lifestyle, whether they're upgrading, downgrading, job relocation, um, you know, new family members, whatever the case may be. Most people are moving because of those reasons. And then you have the very, you know, the few that are going to want to move because they want to move. Those are the, those are the, the buyers that I believe and sellers, of course, that are really, waiting to see really trying to time the market is what they're really trying to do right and that's fine you know if you don't have to move that's that's fine you know but it's just like the stock market everyone's trying to time the market and how many people can act, how many people have been successful at that right right very few and so you know it's just a matter of what your what your patient you know patient level is you know patience level is um and what you really want like for me it's i can i can wait a little bit before moving if i wanted to um but i know at some point if i have the ideal that i want to move i'm not going to wait around forever i'm just going to you know the the writing's on the wall if the rates what it is and prices are what it is and I, if i can afford it then I'll just go ahead and move. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll give it a little bit of time to see if anything happens, but nothing happens, then I'll buy or sell. Right. So essentially we could kind of, let's just, let's just for the sake of simplicity, box it into different types of buyers. So we'll say there's three different types of buyers that this rate would affect. If there's a mortgage rate cut, you have your buyers who are looking to move because of life. You know, there's, new job right. upgrading something they have they have to move like regardless of the rate they're going to be moving so does that really affect them all that much it's not going to affect their decision making probably not but it could be a good incentive it could be a good push them over the edge type of thing yeah. right it, it's a cherry on top then you have your next set of buyers who are let's say your investors now your investors are people who are trying to time the market they're like stock traders right like you right. said those, are, those people are going to be affected by this more so than anyone because they're looking to get the most bang for their buck. Out it's of, just numbers for them, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So the, so investor types, they're really going to benefit from trying to time a, a mortgage rate decrease, uh, mortgage rate cut. And then you have your third group, which I'll say is sort of like that in-between, right? So you have a, a buyer who's you know family, a person, a individual, looking to they want to buy like you said they have desire to buy a home move live somewhere else but they don't necessarily have to and they don't necessarily you know have any sort of motivation to do it right away the, right life is not a factor for their decision making so the mortgage rate cut could be you know a good factor for them to consider as well for as sure. on top of the investor but not so much the buyer who is moving because of life who's gonna move regardless you know right right they're just gonna you know and i think that's majority of the people that are moving right now are people that have to they have to make that move and they're just biting the bullet and you know i think that over time you know i don't think any i hope no one's really putting themselves into a bad situation where to where they're moving to a, a new location new home that they can't afford, you know, and you hear the term house poor, you know, I, I hope that people aren't doing that. I'd rather see someone, you know, prices obviously have gone up significantly over the last few years, at least in our market and usually and countrywide, right? But we, I can only speak really on our market. Prices have increased quite a bit. And, you know, if you have to move and not in that ideal area and the ideal home 
but still stay within your budget. That's what I really would encourage people to do, especially right now. If you're just you're waiting for that, right? You're waiting to for prices to come down or rates to come down just to move into the knockatee or, you know, uh, whatever area or home that you're trying to move into, you know, there's you, there's no one has a crystal ball, so you don't know what's going to happen. So tomorrow, prices on homes and rates could come down or they could go up even higher. I would say look at your budget, find out what's in the market, you know, within your budget and go with that. And then, you know, when you get to that next stepping stone or, you know, work your way up to that next stepping stone to get into the house you really want. I mean, you just have to you have to work it. I think that's the biggest problem is that we're not making that sacrifice now to get what we want down the road, if that makes sense. Yeah. And I would say, you know, and I'll just kind of we'll move on to something that I want to speculate on. Um, I'm actually excited if if the if the mortgage rate does get cut by a significant amount, obviously, like you said, it would drive a lot more demand into the market. Um, but that just kind of co- coincides with the seasonality of the new year. You obviously have a lot of people looking to buy a new home starting around the new year after the holidays. Um, but I'm excited about a rate cut for mortgage rates if it happens for resale homes because I think in the last year, new construction homes have had a really good spot in the market as far as you know when when there's higher interest rates a lot of these new construction developers they you know they bought a package deal where they can offer you a, a significantly decreased interest rate to any buyers looking to buy in their specific communities for example like you know I think one of the communities that we've covered on the channel is the Arbors by D.R. Horton. And mm-hmm. I think they've had a, a, they offered a rate at one point. I'm not sure if it's still the case around 4.99% or 5.25%, right. which at that time was like almost a whole point um, less than what the actual rate yeah. was at the time. And that's assuming, you know, you had perfect credit and you're just an ideal buyer um, and you're going to get a great interest rate to begin with. So new construction has been over the past year, in my opinion, very competitive with resale homes Um, and resale has had a little bit more of a tougher time because of those higher interest rates. So what I'm trying to get to is that if the mortgage rate does get cut by a significant amount, I would love to see it because I'm really excited for resale homes to be a little bit more competitive because at the end of the day, as you know, and I know a lot of the new construction that happens in Jacksonville is on the outskirts of Jacksonville, right? You're looking at outside of the 295 beltway for the most part, there are going to be some, exclusions to that obviously but for the most part everything happens on the outer perimeter of jacksonville now the great thing about resale is you get to pick wherever you want to live no matter what like you don't if you're looking for resale you could live anywhere in jacksonville you're looking for new construction there's limited amount of places in and around jacksonville that you can you can live in now what i'm excited about the rate is that people will be more incentivized to maybe go for a resale home and maybe live in a community that they've been looking at versus having to go with new construction purely based off of a financial decision of getting a better interest rate. Yeah. I mean, I told it that well put, I, I totally agree with you and I'm, I'm excited about that as well. I mean, I'd like to see the resale homes pick up as far as selling. Um, again, we have a lot of inventory right now when it comes to resale homes. So I, I'd, I'd like to see those homes start to move and um, get new buyers in there and, you know, younger generations, because I know, you know, those uh, demographics are trying to get homes, but it's really challenging right now because of the economy, not just not just mortgage rates, but, you know, just the cost of living in general. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about it. And and to to add on to your point with the resale homes versus new construction, I mean, who doesn't love a, a new construction community? It's brand new. You know, it's the bright brand new shiny thing right but man there's something really really special about some of these resale home neighborhoods they're not cookie cutter um some of them you know some are but there's a lot of them out there that the neighborhoods aren't cookie cutter and they have a lot of charm a lot of character and i know a lot of you know people when when they talk about there's a lot of jokes about those type of words in real estate, what it really yeah. means. But the truth is I work with a lot of, a lot of buyers that 
are looking for those type of homes, especially when they're relocating to Florida from these other areas where they don't have like these big sub, you know, subdivisions where they're coming from. And they're almost a little overwhelmed by the almost like step Stepford wives type community. Everything's just not synchronized. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, that's great. And there's a lot of people that love those type of neighborhoods, but what I'm excited about, like you mentioned is the resale and some of these older communities that are established and you can really always tell, see them. I mean, the, you walk, you yeah. go into the neighborhood and it's just like all the lawns are taken care of. I mean, and these are older homes, right? So, you know, like they're, these these homeowners have been there for years and they're not going nowhere and they've you've got a really great neighborhood and then every now and then a home might come up for sale and those are the real special gems in our town and we'll we'll have to wrap this up but next episode we'll probably maybe we'll do uh, an episode uh, talking about some of the nice really nice established neighborhoods that we we actually personally like so that'd be a good segment for a lot of people who don't even know the area to get a good insight on what we think are some great established neighborhoods in in our area so that was today's episode uh, here on the Jacksonville Florida Living podcast we talked about the uh, the federal rate cut by half a percent last week and uh, how that affected our real estate market, how it could affect our real estate market and just some overall takeaways from it. So if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in Northeast Florida, looking to relocate down here or whatever the case may be, real estate related, give us a call, reach out to myself or my dad. We, uh, we will be more than happy to help you relocate here to find your forever home here with us.